Good morning, everybody. It's day 78. Um, definitely in a better mental headspace than I was last night. Uh, I slept pretty well. I got like three separate chunks of three hours in, so pretty good. Um, slept in till about 6.30, just got my bear bag. Uh, I woke up, every time I woke up in the middle of the night, I just had this like raging headache and pressure, like pressure headache. So I did take a Claritin in the middle of the night and that did seem to help. So yeah, we'll see. Um, but it's 24 hour pill, so I can't really take it again until probably tonight or tomorrow morning. We'll see. Um, I still have this like dry cough and I still pretty feel pretty lethargic. So just going to take it easy and walk and see where that gets me. Um, get rid of my plans, get rid of my expectations and just walk. Uh, we should get some good overlooks and views today. So hopefully that'll be nice. Um, thanks for, for watching out and about on the AT and we'll have a better day today. Good morning from the Shenandoahs. Hello. All right. I'm about 10, almost 11 miles in for the day. I'm definitely tired and lethargic, but like much better than yesterday. I mean, I didn't even make it this far yesterday and it's only like 1230 right now. Um, I'm going to take quite a long break. Uh, just hang out. We were by a creek, um, eat some lunch. I packed out a little wrap yesterday for dinner, but I didn't eat dinner. And that's another issue today is I don't feel hungry. Um, so yeah, my body is just not herself, but I'm going to try to force down some food. Maybe if I'm sitting and drinking water, it'll feel better and I'll want some food. Um, here's the day. It's very hot, very warm sunny we got sunscreen on a probably reapply and yeah that's kind of it um no plans just doing my usual walk until i don't want to walk anymore and that'll probably be later on this evening so i'm just going to keep going slow i should leave the shenandoah national park today um should and then we'll see where that gets us so we'll talk to you guys soon honestly pretty good Tastes like it's still good from yesterday. It's like turkey, ham, bacon bits, cheese, and a tomato basil tortilla. Hi, honey. You coming right to me? You silly goose. I'm going to come toward you, but I'm probably going to scare you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right, officially leaving the Shenandoahs. Wow. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Still got my little cough. But we are happy to have made it this far in and out of that park. Ah, feels good. There's some rocky climb down. On the trail today, we got a little bunny friend that is not afraid of me at all. He's so cute. He's so cute. This is such a weird section of trail. We have like just fencing. We have barbed wire fencing, which is interesting on that side and then on this side you can't really see through the trees right now but it's like residential this is the trail yeah so this is the trail with the fence and it's just like such a weird little spot <laughs> walk by these homes i wonder if all these people know exactly what's right in their backyard or not all right we just got to a busy road um but right over there was trail magic and I had a Gatorade and a honey bun, so that is good. That's like 
five, 600 calories right there, which I needed. It's a busy road, hold on one second. Somebody's been here asking me if I need a ride. It's just like, it's, I didn't, unfortunately, but FaceTime my parents, gotta see my niece Harper, and then about in a half a mile, there's a water source, and I'm gonna try to find a stealth, stealth, spite, stealth spot over there. Okay, we got the trail right here. And then if you come, there's a little path that, that was kind of blocked by some down trees. I think sometimes people, like they'll do that so that you don't come back to some of these still spots, but I don't know. This feels like a great spot. So this is where my tent will be going tonight and we're home. That keeps going. So maybe I'll follow that and see what's up. Ugh, it's getting so much more buggy out here. And then by the water, too, so. Ugh, it's not even June! Ugh. All right, we're blowing up the air mattress, and we are, this is our view. Just nature, just the woods, and I'm here alone tonight. Um, I'm not too worried. I, it's just, it's just like when I, it is the middle of the night, and there are really loud sounds. I am, I do wake up and I like listen in, make sure it's not like a bear coming close to my tent, whatever. Um, don't think I have such a bad cough, so I can just give out a big cough and it'll go away. But I just have, I know for sure, cause it's like all brush and there's gonna be a lot of noises out here tonight. So <laughs> I will be fine, but I just know that I'll be in and out of, of sleep listening to all the, you know, little twigs snap and the, leaves rustle but such is life out here such right, is life. i'm all set up in tent in my tent and i wanted to show you guys my new pillow contraption so i started the trail with a an inflatable pillow it was outdoor vitals and after a couple weeks it was leaking um honestly maybe like it was leaking right away but i had it for free so it doesn't really matter um this is my new pillow <laughs> it is my buff and I stick my puffy jacket in it, and then I just like tie the ends. Um, I haven't tried the end tying, but I think it's gonna work better if I don't tie it, it kind of like slips out. Um, so you can hear I'm not sounding the best, but I honestly, I don't know. Maybe it's allergies, I don't know, man. I'm in a much better mental space than yesterday, which is good. But yeah, I've got my tent set up. I still don't have a huge appetite. I have like forced down 2,000 calories today. And that's not including dinner. So I've got a couple bars that I'm going to eat for dinner instead of making dinner. It just feels safer, like something that I want. My stomach had a little bit of issues going to the bathroom twice today. So, ugh, you know so funny it's just like this has turned from an at youtube video saga to uh how many times is out and about sick on trail <laughs> so bad but did a full tick check nothing there so yeah i've got full service here so i'm gonna call my parents and then watch the finale of season 42 of survivor it's three hours long so i'll probably get like 15 minutes in before i fall asleep but how exciting is that? What a great way to fall asleep out here. Um, and that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching day 78 and for sticking through after the tough day yesterday. Um, things are looking up. So just a quick update on where I'm at. I'm at mile seven, or sorry, 973 which means I have 31 miles to get to the hostel and I have two days to do that. So that sets me up in a really good spot. Um, today I did about 18 something. And um, also in the description of every video, I see how many miles I did per day. So I'm always like, I don't know how many I did. And then I figure it out and I write it in. So just an FYI. Um, and that was <clears throat> plenty. I was so tired. So hopefully if I start to feel better, um, I can keep it around there tomorrow and then leave it only a few the next day. I mean, we can bump it up to 20 tomorrow and then only have 11 the next day. Or I can just do two days of 16 or 15 and a half or whatever. So, you know, I got some flexibility and 
That hostel that I was staying at two nights is called Bear's Den. It's run by the ATC, I believe. It's like this big stone castle lodge thing. So hopefully it's nicer than Big Meadows Lodge. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Uh, thank you guys so much. But I'm going to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.